We've all heard the term STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths, and the desire to get more young female students to think of these areas when looking for higher education options. But that seems to be easier said than done. In engineering companies the world over, less than 10% of their workforce are female. Today, I'm joined by Mary Ellen Kelly, who is Program Director for Electrical and Electronic Level 7 and 8 programmes, and Shabnam Momand, a, thir a third year undergraduate, and uh, Kiva Murray as well as a first year in Electrical and Electronics Engineering student. And these women are going to try and make the case for considering DKIT Engineering Department if you're a female student. Mary Ellen, uh, I'm going to start to you. Where do you think the responsibility lies to undo the, you know, the imbalance within engineering? I think the responsibility lies with everyone. Um, you know, there is a misperception about what engineering is among young females, and we want to try and help um, correct that by sharing what it actually involves. And that's why I'm joined by some of our fantastic students here today to help share what an actual engineer does on a day-to-day -day basis. There are so many avenues for a graduate engineer these days. It's not just heavy machinery or um, oil or you know deep uh, heavy equipment. You really want to look at design, um, everyday products. You're seeing what's happening with those, how we continue to innovate. So it's a really exciting career and we just want to share those details with yeah. future female engineers. And Shabnam, is that, is that maybe one of the part of the reasons that you decided to, to, to go through with engineering? Um, I considered doing engineering because it's commonly like perceived as a course that men are interested only, yeah. when really women really like that too. So I just chose it for that reason. Amazing. So here's a question. Does sustainability play a big part in engineering? Massive part. So we, want, we know that female engineers and future female engineers want to make sure that they're making a difference in the world when the products that they're designing and developing. Today is actually World Engineering Day for the Sustainable Goals. Mm. Um, we see how those goals link in with design of products and the implementation. So reduce of plastics, helping our oceans. So there's massive potential there. Yeah. Um, Kiva, you were first year in, is it electrical engineering? Yeah, electrical. And what made you want to be an engineer? Uh, well, I grew up around kind of engineers. My mum works in the county council and there's a lot of civil engineers. So I went into, went into a TY and then did my work experience and I was very, really interested in it. And then I kind of looked more into it and seen the requirements that I needed and kind of went for it then. So but I didn't go into civil, I went into electrical, I thought that was more interesting for right. me. Right. Isn't it funny how TY can really yeah. show you, show you, you what you want to do, isn't it? TY is a great uh, way to see what you want to do. It kind of make, it makes you pick your subjects. I and was the exact same. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. It's it so brilliant. good. Um, Mary Ellen, like, speaking of you know school and things like that, I would be under the impression that if you're doing maybe your Leaving Cert or, or the A-levels, that you need like a H1 in maths or the equivalent in the A-levels, you know, uh, how good does your maths need to be? For someone who's terrible at maths, how, how important is it? Um, so I'd say I was an average maths student um, in secondary school myself. We have a number of options here at DKIT. So for our level seven programme, we don't have a maths requirement. Um, right. We have an overall requirement to come in. And we also have um, an additional a maths academy that is run in conjunction with our lecturers. So if students need a little bit of additional help, we have that resource available. Yeah. We do have a requirement on our level eight program, but again, we have the Maths Academy for anyone that wants to come in. So there's always a route. You don't need to be uh, an A student, but you just want to enjoy and want to get to know the subject. Yeah, amazing. So don't worry, basically. Uh, Shabnam, if, if I was like a female student, you know, about to sit my leave insert or my A levels and things like that, and I love maths and sciences, what would you say to me as to why I should consider, you know, engineering? Um, well, it's first about like what kind of lifestyle you like. If you like the lavish lifestyle, it's really good to do engineering. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. And also, if you like, it's like nice to give back to a society. So if you make a device and you just look at it and you know you made it, it feels really great. And then it's always good to do a course that you're good in, like, you know, biology and science. It's really good to just get into it. It'll be easier for you to overcome. I love that. I'm, yeah. I'm sold. Uh, Mary Ellen, <laughs> um, what are the career opportunities you know, for, for graduate engineers? I'm sure there's so many. There is at the moment in particular. Um, so, uh, for example, myself, when I did the course um, 
oh my goodness, I graduated probably about 18, 19 years ago at this point um, from the very course that the, the girls are doing. Um, I went overseas, so you can work in Ireland, you can work overseas, you can work in design, you can work in manufacturing. Um, it's really a collaborative approach, so you're going to be working with a lot of different teams mm. and different specialities designing products, so there's a lot of opportunity out there right mm -hmm. now. Amazing. And Kiva, what have you loved the most about your course here in DKIT? Um, and your, or your first well, year in general? First year. Um, I liked going in, I thought everyone was very welcoming. I loved the course itself, I loved the kind of practical element involved. Like I went to an all girls school and we didn't have that much yeah. practical, so it was a big change and a big jump into it, but I think that's probably the best part of it, definitely. I'm, I'm curious, where would you like your qualification to take you? Well, I'd like to work for a few companies first and get some experience, and then in the long run, probably become a lecturer like Mary Ellen. Like Mary Ellen, yeah. yeah. Shabnam, Kiva and Mary Ellen, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us. I've felt like I've learned so much and I really appreciate your time. Thank you.